Hey everyone and welcome back to some more Assassin's Creed Odyssey. So last time I completed this quest in which a person needed some drug me and I gave it to her and that was it. That was the video. Anyways, for this video I'm gonna go do this quest, the main mission called Pericles' Emposium and we're gonna go talk to Pericles, finally. Cassandra, it's you! Phoebe! You promised we'd see each other again, and now we have. I also said, stay out of trouble. Which I have. Okay, almost out of trouble. How did you even get here, Phoebe? Well, I did make some draft me working for Marcos. So you paid someone to bring you to Athens? Not exactly. Phoebe. I needed a draft me for when I arrived. I couldn't use it all to leave, and I didn't want to wait any longer, so I sneaked on a ship. Don't worry, nobody saw. I just can't believe you made it. I don't remember much of Athens from when I was a baby, but every once in a while something feels familiar. It's nice. Hmm. I can't believe you're here. Me either. I can't believe we both made it to Athens. It's so much different from Kefalonia. But what are you doing here? I'm here to get you ready. I have to make sure you leave all your weapons and change into these clothes. So you somehow work here? For Pericles? No, for Aspasia. I don't understand why I have to change. It's just what you do here. I felt weird at first, but you forget about it pretty fast. And my weapons? Don't worry, I'll take care of them. We don't want to scare people in there. Well... How is it you're working for Aspasia? Well, I did get into a little bit of trouble after I got to Athens. I may have been a leader of a small group <laughs> that tried to cheat Aspasia. We didn't know it was her though. And you convinced her to hire you? No, she asked me on her own. That was lucky. I think I'm ready to go in. You can't! Not like that, anyway. The Athenians like it best when you try to fit in. But don't worry, I have just the outfit for you. I don't want to. I'll get changed. Promise you'll take care of my things? Yep. Leave your weapons in the corner and I'll come back when you're done. I don't really want to, but... We're going to an event. You're uncomfortable in this. Now you look like everyone else. You say that like it's a good thing. It is. If you want them to take you seriously, this is the easiest way. Trust me. Is that everything? You're all ready to go in. Don't worry. You've done scarier things than this. I'm struggling to think of any right now. Are you sure I can't keep just one weapon with me? No weapons. Now hurry and go in. Oh, and don't leave without saying bye. This should be interesting. Here, Cassandra. The mighty mercenary and traveler has finally made her grand entrance. Only slightly late, too. Herodotus! Athenians have no problem letting me know when I'm not welcome. It's a relief to see your friendly face. Don't let the company here tonight intimidate you. I won't. Pericles is no king. He needs these guests to love him so that the people love him. And they, in turn, need Pericles. You're not different from any of them. Do you really think these people will help me? They will, if you get them to trust you. And you've wisely dressed for the occasion. Appearing trustworthy is the most important part of being trusted, after all. Now then, come, let me introduce you to everyone. They may not look it, but this group holds the way to the future on the tip of the opinionated talents. Hmm. Ah, Sophocles and Everybidis, for example. Two of the most celebrated playwrights to date. No one can throw stones as far as they can. They appear to be locked in some kind of intellectual struggle, as is their way. He's a writer of comedies. 
of all things, comedies, every pities. <laughs> It looks more like a lover's quarrel to me. Hermipos has also written his fair share of comedies. You should drink more. Lately, his attitudes have garnered him more notice than his works. However, the fellow beside him, Protagoras, is a sophist worthy of as much praise as the great Socrates himself. Fighting Socrates seems like a good way to ruin everyone's night. I'm surprised they would let him in the door. Oh, don't let Socrates get under your skin. At least he wore shoes for the occasion. And the poor thing gesticulating like an ape is Trasimachos. If you listen closely, you'll notice he and Socrates are actually arguing the same points. But the wind from his wild gestures deafens him to critique. That isn't at all what I mean. Where is Pericles? Oh, he never attends his old parties. What? Which reminds me, there's something I need to get his head with. Vile Socrates, always appearing where I least expect him. Warrior, protect me from his amorous gaze. Oh, Alcibiades, this is not a time for jealousy. But for love. <clears throat> uh, let's not use Alcibiades as an example. Be good and don't drink too much. So, tell me, what does a Mystios like you think of a party like this? This is going to be a long night. Party should be about vomiting up blood, not vomiting up poetry. These people are so clean. If these guests aren't to your own unique tastes, then just focus on why you came here in the first place. Thank you, Herodotus. Now, if you'll excuse me, Pericles is here somewhere and I need to prepare him. Hmm. If he's alone, I'll tell him what your brother said. Agreed. Pericles needs to know. I'll stay here and look for clues. I hope they know something about your mother. Me too. Interesting. So I need to... Drink up. Get information from Sophocles. Oil and love. Get information from Alcibiades. Okay, I'll just. They're kind of a part of this quest, so. Let's go talk to this guy first. Let's go talk to the. A new face in Pericles is abode. Ha! That in itself is a remarkable thing. You must have seen me doing my impression of Cleon. I call it the orange ape. Tell me, what does it think? I am called many things. It isn't one of them. What do you call yourself then? Creature of many names? Cassandra. Hmm, I wouldn't beg you as a Cassandra, but never mind. <sighs> I'm Aristophanes. And this man is every Pidis. Oh, go on, introduce yourself. I'm every Pidis. <laughs> for a playwright, you're not much for words. Good men lead quiet lives, as old every Pidis likes to say. Don't you, every Pidis? <laughs> now, if you'll excuse us, I was just about to dazzle this old dog with my impression of Pericles. I call it the wooden board. The man is your host. Under every stone hides a politician, I always say. And Pericles is no different. <laughs> of course, I own 
only use the terms war or god or civility in the context of what can be observed. So I can observe soldiers fighting, but does that bring me any closer to understanding war? I haven't seen you around before, citizen. Perhaps you'd like to spare me conversing with this man of nonsense. Sure, we can talk. What about? Before Protagoras changed the subject, we were talking about the next great leader of Athens, Cleon. I saw Cleon talk at the Pnyx. Even for a politician, he's scum. Bah. You sound like every other blowhard in this place. Cleon is a champion of the people. And he's ready to tear down Pericles' elitism. I take it you and Pericles aren't friends. Hardly. Let me post let the charge to have Aspasia ostracized and to see Pericles stripped of power. Not that it worked yet. Pericles is the past. He's more worried about losing a few precious statues than he is fighting and winning the war. Cleon will rule this city and return it to greatness. Mark my words. Lol. If you're an ally of Cleon, why would Pericles invite you? You're not from Athens, outsider. Here, we keep our enemies closest of all. I'm looking for clues to help me find a woman. She was Spartan. Looking and finding are quite different things, wouldn't you say? I could observe a priest offering sacrifice to the gods, but does that mean in so doing that I have myself found God? Or... Oh, forget it. Why isn't Aspasia here? Can you be certain she isn't? To observe her presence is still no guarantee that she is here. In my opinion, it's just like her to cower in the shadows while we stand out here in the light. This has been useless. Here. Okay, let's go talk to that guy. Someone's being hurt. Open this door or I'll kick it in! Oh, 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 don't mind her. She likes to watch. Ooh. Look at you. Such authority. Such aggression. I can see why Pericles has taken such an interest in you. Did you come to join us? It sounded like someone was in pain. Well, it can sometimes be hard to distinguish between sounds of pleasure and pain. Had I known you were going to knock, I would have left my door wide, wide open for you. He's gay. I thought this party was tame even by Athenian standards. Until now. Let them have their meeting of the minds. I'm more interested in meeting other parts. Ali, we're out of oil again. Ali? You know they like you when they give you a pet name. There's more olive oil in the kitchen. But Aspasia keeps complaining about me walking unencumbered through her symposiums. You mean naked. It sounds so good when you say it. After your display earlier, it's probably safer I get the oil. Obedient, too. I knew I liked you. Don't take too long. Yeah, I just wanted to get out of that place. If you don't get the oil soon, all our fun will end. <laughs> Where do I get the oil from? Where 
Where's the oil? Hello, Phoebe. You just got here. You can't leave already. But where is the oil? I can't find it. Where is it? Just can't stay away, can you? Did you bring the oil? You've grown up in Pericles' home, and yet you're so... different. No one is like Pericles. And he's only slightly more serious than usual, too. Athens is under siege, and he worries for her future. Which is why tonight is a fine time to celebrate what may be our last taste of freedom. Interesting. When you walked in, you seemed like you and Socrates were... How I wish you were right. One day, we will have that man in here with us. I promise you that. Where will I find the oil for this? If you come back with a jar of oil, I promise to show you how grateful I am. Where the bloody hell is your jar of oil supposed to be? Over here, maybe? I already checked, I think. Where's the jar of oil? Oh, there we go. Let's first go give him the oil and then we'll see what we can do. Just can't stay away, can you? Did you bring the oil? Obviously. I come bearing gifts. <gasps> We're saved! Today, these women grieved for their sons. And these men worked the war. But tonight, we forget all of that. Let's have some fun! What do you say? Care to join us? Now, it's time for you to help me, Ali. I'm looking for someone. All business, right until the end. I like that. Focus. I'm looking for a woman who fled Sparta a long, long time ago. Fled Sparta? No one flees Sparta. 
But let's pretend she did. If she were stupid, she'd be dead. If she were smart, she'd do what Aspasia did. She'd earn her independence. The smartest and most resourceful women I've ever met have been in Corinthia. You mean the Hetere? The Hetera? I've heard they play some sort of role in Corinth, but I assumed it was the same as any other city. Oh no. These women are unlike any other you'll meet. A force. And the only ones there with any smarts. Ali! Come back inside! Oh, the celebration continues. When you reach Corinth, find Anthusa. No one goes in or out of the city without her knowing. Until we meet again, warrior. Anthusa in Corinth. It's not much, but it's a start. Hmm. Interesting. Oil and love quest completed. All right, let's do this other one too. Yes, you come and talk to this infuriating young man. I've had my feeling. Perhaps later. First, explain to me your point again. And so it isn't the rich and powerful, but the gods who are the source of justice. It's come back for more. I'm sure she wouldn't. Well, if you'll excuse us, I'm working on my impression of you. I call it the pretty monkey. What? No! Have you been listening to nothing I say? I suppose you've come in here to mock me for my fight with every Pedis. I've seen lots of fights. That wasn't one. <laughs> I really made a fool of myself this time, didn't I? I'm Sophocles, though I'm sure you knew that. And you are? I am looking for information that will help me find someone. Hmm. A Spartan woman. Hmm, a Spartan woman in Athens. Sounds intriguing. Though, if you expect me to notice someone other than myself, you expect too much. You could talk to Evripides. He's the second most worldly man here. That ridiculous Xanthodontus exothalmic Morosov. But he doesn't talk without a drink. I have no idea what that meant. No, you don't. You want to get every Pidis drunk? Are you hoping he's gonna make an even bigger scene than you did? Ha! We both know that's not possible. But you're a feisty one, to say the least. All right. If nothing else, this party could use the help. You need to pick the right wine for this task. The kitchen should have what you need. Let me know when every piece is done in, and I'll slip away unseen. How do you know Pericles? I believe you mean to ask me how does Pericles know you? I am the greatest dramatist in the land, mentor to every piece, lover of Asclepios, father of theater, and so on and so on. I'm sure it's a real honor to have you hiding in his kitchen. You're awfully worked up over every business. You sure you're just friends? I'm never just anything, foreigner. Though I confess, every Pidis and I hold a bond deeper than brotherhood. Why he slams it with a banal young plaything, Aristophanes, I will never know. I'll get the one. Wonderful. Now, if you want some friendly advice, Aristophanes cannot stand sweet one. I've seen what it can do to him. Absolutely, horrifyingly, delightful. It wouldn't be a party without someone losing their stomach. I'll let you know if your plan worked. Sweet wine. Save for that arrogant playwright. I don't see many distinguished guests in here. Can I help you with something? I'm here for your sweet wine. Yes, take it. But get out of my kitchen. I'm very busy, you know. Aged wine. Okay. Care for another impression? My favorite is Sophocles. Uh, 
that one isn't funny. When I need to relax, I start to fight. For you, though. Quickly, bring him some wine so that he might say something clever. After my argument with Sophocles, I think I'd rather keep my head clear. I'm only here because I'm searching for someone. And yet it gave us the distinct impression it was here to fill our wine. Let's focus on that first, shall we? Fine! I'm Pericles' new servant. I'd be happy to bring some wine. An Athenian servant, you. And these are wine-pouring muscles. I was a rower on Pericles' ship where he took pity on me. Now I pour wine for people who question my word. And his. I, I wasn't questioning, I... Perhaps one drink. Why don't you just apologize to Sophocles? It's he who should apologize to you. Sophocles is a friend, and one good friend is worth an entire family. He just needs time to recover from his outburst. Interesting. Pericles has invited all of you here for some reason. Either we dine here and praise Pericles, or we dine with Cleon. But Cleon has all the charm of a typical politician. A horrible voice, bad breeding, and vulgar manners. Let's conjure Dionysos, shall we? This... this is pure swill! Amateur. In my day, this would be considered nectar of the god. Another round! Ready for more? Huh. Yeah, I can hardly stomach this pig's piece. I could outdrink both of you with one hand. Let's have some more! You ready for another? This guy's gonna get drunk. That guy doesn't like this wine. This wine is terrible. You, I like you. <laughs> Who brought you here? I brought myself. I'm on the trail of a woman who fled Sparta a long time ago. Fled? Why? She lost two children. She had no choice. She fled to heal a broken heart. Every penis, right her into a plane. I've heard Spartan mothers go to a sanctuary in Argolis to beg Asclepios for his divine pity. I should know, it's my home. After what she went through, I'm not sure she'd trust priests. Oh, then she sought my friend, Hippocrates. He's a physician, best of the best. He still keeps his office in Argos. If she went to him for help, there's no doubt he'd have given it. I love getting drunk and singing. Come back if you want to sing with me. I'll think about it. Gratis in Argos. Here I come. How's every penis? Drunk, I hope. You can stop hiding in here. Epipedes won't notice you coming out. <laughs> he won't notice anything. Hiding? Heed this. War has come to Athens. First they take our homes, then they take our heads. I intend to be found with at least my dignity intact. Or what's left of it anyway. Huh. If you see Pericles, tell him I said thank you for another colorful evening. Right, let's go complete this quest, Pericles' Symposium. Oh wow. I'm guessing we need to talk to this guy. Ah, if it isn't the one who agrees, that knowledge is most important. I think we agreed. Our use of that knowledge couldn't be more different. Ah, you remember. Perhaps our conversation can continue. You really intend to use this young destruction to avoid the point being argued? If you've been arguing this long and you haven't agreed yet, just give up. We're discussing the nature of rules. We're better to do so than here. 
I'll ask you the same question I asked Thrasymachos. Would you agree that the act of ruling is an art? It is an art, as all worthy undertakings are. That is not up for argument. Yet, medicine is for the betterment of the patient and not the physician. Carpentry improves the building, not the builder. Then, is the art of ruling not for the betterment of the ruled rather than the ruler? Don't be absurd! I've seen enough of the world to know that there are no just rulers. Even no! Is self -serving. Is a Spartan general who brings order to his troops, thereby saving his own life self-serving? I'm not sure that's the case. Ruling a city and fighting in battle are different things. By practicing the art of war, doesn't the general guarantee some of his troops a ferry ride to Hades, when a swift retreat would save all their lives? You're contradicting you just yourself. Said the general isn't self-serving when he brings order to his troops. Then you said he is self-serving because retreating would save the lives of his men? What are you trying to say? I never try to say anything. But you just said those things. I said the words, but I didn't say anything at all. I only attempted to gain your view on the matter. You're wasting your time. Aspasia. Who is this lady? She's hot. I couldn't help but notice your talent for debate. Well done. Socrates is an interesting character. Ah, Phoebe. Pericles has retired to the balcony already, has he? His ability to sneak off and sulk is second to none. I can go get him, and Cassandra can help. Everyone listens when she talks. That'll be fine. Run along. Cassandra will be right behind you. Now, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Aspasia. I had to go to great lengths to cover up your work in Megaris. Your spies have been watching me. I knew you people couldn't be trusted. We do what we must to survive, and there's no shame in that. It's how you got here, how I got here. The clothes, they fit you well, I trust. These may be the nicest clothes I've ever worn, but I feel a bit uncomfortable, to be honest. You never really get used to them. Hmm. It seems we have the attention of the entire room without a single eye being fixed on us. If you'd like to talk, do it now, and do it discreetly. I'm searching for a woman who fled Sparta with her child years ago. I was hoping you might help. What clues do you have to her whereabouts? A physician named Hippocrates may have seen her in Argos. He's a good man. If you find a woman named Agathi there, do let her know Aspasia sends her regards. What else? Alcibiades gave me the name of a woman in Corinth. I'm sure he did. My dear friend, Anthusa, is the only one I know who's enjoyed a life in Corinth through legitimate means. Mostly legitimate, anyway. That's all I have. There is another option. In a former life, when I needed something done or someone found, I contacted a friend. An admiral of a sort. What's his name? Her name is Xenia. When we last spoke, she was in chaos. A word of caution. When you go to her, be on your guard. Sea life makes a monster out of most people. Thank you, Aspasia. When you're done, return here. Together, we will find who you're looking for. Now do me a favor and get Pericles to come down here and greet his guests. Now, 
So the stairs were over here, I think. No. Sorry. You. Yeah, whatever. I didn't send for you. No matter how you've dressed for my party, Phoebe shouldn't have let you in. Phoebe did nothing wrong. Aspasia asked her to let me in. Uh, of course she did. I can't say I'm thrilled about going down and speaking to everyone. Technically, you're a guest. If you join Erodos and me, that should be enough for her, don't you think? You really don't want to go downstairs, do you? When your days are spent speaking in front of crowds, you begin to crave these moments of silence. Or as silent as I let it be, at least. <laughs> Phidias was awaiting trial, but you had me get him out of Athens. I figured you, of all people, would want to follow the law. Phidias is a very dear friend. I didn't want to risk him being found guilty. And, of course, there were other threats. So you knew? I know he's delusional, but... One day, when you have a friend you'd do anything for, you'll understand. Hmm. Interesting. I don't understand why you had Anaxagoras ostracized. Socrates said he was your friend. I won't risk the lives of those close to me if there's something I can do about it. So you did this to protect him? Anaxagoras understood my fears. Ten years may be a long time, but at least he'll be safe. I don't understand why you have... Oh. Anaxag... Why send him a Diochos to the fishing district if it's dangerous? I would never have sent him into danger willingly. It seems you have many loyal friends. My people are important to me. Your life is in danger. Yes, yes, Erodos was saying. This cult doesn't worry me. I have my life threatened by far worse people every day. My true concern is Athens. I fear for her future. Spartans outside the walls, people crammed inside. I don't envy you. Even so, there isn't another city I'd rather live in. I can't say I know how that feels. When you find your place, you'll know it. Aspasia sent me to see what's taking you so long. Tell Aspasia I'll be right there. I suppose this is where our conversation ends. Thank you again for helping me. I hope my guests are able to help you in your search. Time will tell. Hmm. Leave the symposium. Conversation. I think that's the most talking I've ever done. See? You didn't need the weapon after all. Are you leaving? I'm not done with these people yet. You look tired. Only... See? I've had enough Athenian hospitality to last me a lifetime. You get used to it. It's nice. What are you going to do now? Kios Argolis Corinthia. What was in Kios? I forgot. Argolis. I think Corinthia is the best bet. That gay guy told me about Corinthia. Argolis, the drunk guy. 
Kios. Oh, Kios is the island of chaos that I need to meet. I think I'll head there first. I've heard there are pirates there. I'll be sure to be careful. Good. Before you go, I heard something from Aspasia about Kefalonia. What is it? She said there was some sort of plague. You don't think... My friend, the blood fever. Don't think like that. Whatever happened on Kefalonia isn't our fault. I'll go myself and find out if this plague even happened, okay? Okay. Thanks. I knew I could count on you. The Bright Mines. Interesting. Not going to beg to come along this time? Nope. I'm happy here. And this isn't Kefalonia. That means you'll be back. That's very true. Plus, I really like working for Aspasia. She says she has a mission for me. I'll see you soon, Phoebe. Bye, Cassandra! Okay, so we have one of first do no harm, Argolis, Hippocrates, to find a girl, Antusa, in Pornion district, and Kios Island. I think I've been to both these places. Pornion, I know where that is. Let's open up the map. Citizenship test, Socrates. Okay. Look that, for Neon. Kios. That's not far away. Porneon is in Corinth. Interesting. And Argolis is right here. I think I'm gonna go to Kios first, most likely. Hmm. Right, so unfortunately guys, this is where I'll be ending the video. In the next one, I'm gonna continue my journey of Assassin's Creed Odyssey. And I'm most likely gonna go do this quest called Citizenship Test. But that's it, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.